Let me see. She's cute. She got some spice to her honey. She got some nutmeg. She got some cinnamon. She got some allspice. So I kept my roots and I felt like it'll look it'll look less realistic if I put it up to the roots so I just kept the ends did my best to get in like I said I like the dark roots just in case I want to do like half up half down like it's believable like I think I think I dyed my hair it looked like so this is the results after I would say three days three days so my hair is a hundred percent dry it is semi stretched I only stretched it once just because I didn't want to stretch too much because I don't know how the product is gonna last I don't know the longevity of this product so I didn't want to do too much but I wanted to come back and show you guys how it looks after three days and 100% dry so I have the two highest pieces in the front right here to kind of frame the face get the color in the face and all that stuff but my roots are dark so that's the results okay um let's talk about moisture this product is it has a typical as i am scent to it so if you've used her products before you know the smell of it like it smells like her leave-in conditioner it smells like her co-wash conditioner um so it's not really a pro or a con it doesn't really matter because when it does dry down your hair doesn't smell like that anymore i do feel like my hair it smells fine so there's no the scent doesn't really matter so after that for scent let's talk about consistency it is super super thick it's not like a pomade and it's not like a cream or it's not like a gel like it's like right in the middle like if i could say like chocolate pudding if you're putting chocolate pudding on your hair this is how it would feel so it's it feels moisturizing um it goes on pretty well it has slip so it wasn't hard to kind of like 
put through my hair. As you saw, I was being very careless because y'all know if I was doing a proper wash and go like that, if I was doing a wash and go like that, it would have been a wrap. Like I, I definitely would have gotten results like this. But because the product was so moisturizing and easy to apply, I literally just went free-handedly, just went all over my head, and it looks like this. It took me literally like four minutes. Like this video is pretty short because of that. That's how easy it is to apply this product right here. So scent, okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, moisture, it is moisturizing. I'm applying, but after three days, I don't think my hair is any less dry or any less moisturized with this product on top. So. Do you have to really worry about it? Not really. If you have a really good um, wash and go routine, like a wash day routine and prepping before this, then you're fine. I think the product is not something to kind of worry about or have any concerns. So moisture, um, nor bad nor good, it's, you know, it's okay. Um, let's talk about payoff, color payoff. This color is so strong. Like the pigmentation is so strong. It took me a quarter of this jar. I don't want to get it all over me because it's gonna stain. But this is how much I use. I don't know if you guys can really see. This is how much I use for my entire head. I think, not gonna lie, I can use this two more times. Two more times. And this was only $7.99. So um, it is pretty good for the price and it is something you can use constantly so I have a lot of freaking hair so if you think you have a lot of freaking hair I got a lot of freaking hair and it took me almost like it took me a quarter of this bottle just to get it all over my head so you are fine like the container seems kind of like scary because this looks pretty tiny but it is a really good product when it comes to pigmentation so after pigmentation I know everyone's questioning like um like what is it not payoff not the payoff just like how uh, fallout fallout so everyone's questioning me and asking me how's the fallout this stuff gets everywhere when it's not dry so the key to this is to get every inch of this red as dry as possible so for me i knew this prior so i decided to do my hair on damp hair rather than like really drenching wet hair just because it would have taken a longer time to dry and i don't i wouldn't want to go to sleep with it wet um because that's just like it's gonna get everywhere like fear for your sheets fear for your white walls fear for your white tables because it will get everywhere but the pro is it is easy to wash off i've seen other um hair waxes and it's stained their hands completely and it's been stained for maybe a few days but for me as soon as i wash my hands it's good it's done it's gone so that's a pretty good perk about this color right here and as i am on how they created the product so that's that with that but when it's dry it is pretty good like there's some fallout there's some flaking but you also need to keep in count you are um layering products on top of each other so you do have gel underneath so i feel like the gel kind of flakes off which kind of has a red um color attached to it so therefore it's you know reds flying everywhere but it's just like pretend like you see a little shedding of gel flakes that's literally all all it is um I have red on my hands now just because I was touching this bottle. Like I said before, how easy it is to wash off. My hands had a little tint of red and now it is all gone. Regular skin complexion, this is me, all me. So when it's wet, it gets everywhere. But when it is when it's dry, it doesn't really transfer on clothes easily. I would have to be squeezing my hair in order for it to come out so let's say let me run my hands through my hair right let's say i need to fluff it so she's fluffing she's fluffing like okay like and this is how it looks after like you see just a little right here but in order to see a huge difference i would have to squeeze my hair real hard like let's say squeeze like when i'm putting my hand 
hair in bands, you would um you would tell. But let's say I'm squeezing it really hard, and then this is still the results. So you can see a little more. I don't know if you can see those little flakes. Hey, you know, we dancing, we going out. It's just getting kind of crazy. And that's it. That's how it looks. Uh, that's how it looks on white. So transfers, not much. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you think red is my color. If you think red adds some oomph. You know me, that word oomph. Okay. Um, let me know if you think I should make a commitment and add it. You know, color my hair. Sasha, maybe 2021 is the year you dye your hair. But this is kind of a little taste. Let me know, guys. Let me know if you agree. Let me know what you think and all that stuff. He likes my diamonds and my pearls. I said thank you.